Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Beep Stripped Drumbo the Modular Groove Box. In this video I'm going to talk about MIDI and how we're going to use Atom Piano Roll to create a bit in a single track inside Drumbo. So let's start. Let's remove the MIDI to CV and let's add under MIDI a Audio Uni MIDI processor. Let's choose Auto Piano Roll. Let's make the length to one bar for simplicity. Let's add now an Audio Uni instrument and let's select something like Ruiz Maker FM Multiple Output. Here we go. Now let's connect the different uh, outputs from Ruiz Maker to a mixer for simplicity. So first one to main, second one to first, third one to fifth so that we can grab the kick drum, the snare drum and hi-hats. Now let's create a rhythm. So let's go inside Atom Piano Roll. Let's expand the UI and let's insert um, four bit for the kick drum. Also two bit for the snare drum. And then, yep, let's um, select, put um, two, event for each bit for the high art. Okay, let's test it. Okay, it sounds good. Next, let's add another instance of Auto Piano Roll. So another Audio Uni MIDI processor. And I select again Auto Piano Roll. Same thing, one bar for simplicity. Let's add another instrument, another Audio unit instrument, of course. Let's select um, base 808. Let's select a patch or a preset. Let's scroll down and let's find something like, why not, the Dumbass 808. Okay, so now let's grab the uh, another mixer and let's bring the output from the base and also from the previous mixer, which will contain the drum. Okay, let's go inside the second instance or auto piano roll and let's create a bit. Okay, let's scroll down. Now let's try it here. Something like that. Okay, let's play. Okay, let's continue our journey. This time, let's add, uh, for example, um, something like... Uh, uh, more of a colder rhythms. So let's um, uh, add um, another uh, audio unit mini processor. Let's choose again Auto Piano Roll, one bar again, and then let's load a different instrument. This time let's go for something like um, DRC, why not? Let's expand that and let's choose a patch. Let's go inside the Iconic Sounds Volume 3 and let's choose uh, the Bouncing Plex Balls. Okay, let's add another mixer and let's connect the output from DSC and also from the previous mixer. Okay, let's create now some chords. Okay, um, and I will start playing and I will keep adding notes.
Okay, perfect. Let's carry on. Let's add another uh, MIDI unit uh, processor. And this time, let's choose something like, yeah, Riffa. Why not? Let's configure it straight away. We set it to be uh, a scale of a pentatonic minor. We select it to be one eighth as duration of the notes. We have some tie notes and also some sustain notes. We have it to continue generating notes every two majors. Next, we add another generator, another audio unit instrument. And here, let's uh, um, choose another instrument, something from Bliss Alpha Synth. Okay, let's choose a preset. Let's go under bank A and let's try this Coco lead. Let's bring another mixer in and let's choose the output from Bliss Alpha and also from the previous mixer. And let's try. So as you can see, very straightforward to create a little bit and we are still using a single track. I can keep adding, so I could add another one for a lead and then improvise on that. And when uh, I finish as well, what I can do is also go under a generator, bring in the Flexi Sampler and decide to uh, sample uh, the bit. So let's go under recording, let's click record and play. I don't have a monitor on, so you don't hear it. Let's click stop and also stop the recording. Let's go close that. Let's go inside the wave and let's click play. Okay, that sounds good. And here is where you can start your manipulation. Sort of, for example, we can start to say, let's trim that first part, edit, trim, so like so. And we can continue like so in terms of, uh, for example, trying to find something to repeat. So we could um, uh, take the end here, something like... Okay, perfect. So something around there. Okay, so let me zoom in now to make uh, a better... Uh, adjustment right so as you can see probably let's cut it towards there and let's say edit trim and also let's uh, um, zoom at the beginning and let's get closer something like that edit trim again Okay, and of course now you can work with the Flexi Sampler, um, the sample you, it can be saved and you can continue like so in your journey. I hope you found this useful. See you next time. Bye.